Hello and welcome to the Market Street Studio. I'm Register Reporter Andy Oriel. Joining me today is Nathan Maslick. Hi. How you doing? Great. How are you? Great as well. And you have an upcoming show that you're organizing slash producing yes. slash overseeing. And it's called, I believe, a holiday celebration of song. Yes, sir. Taking place at Halo 1848 at the Mohawk Studio, mm -hmm. which is a new recording studio, performance center. We've previously written about it. And the shows are on Thursday and Friday night. Yes. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what that event entails? Sure. So the show is called, I Believe, A Holiday Celebration of Song. And the premise is to take music and narration and tell a story of how believing in the holiday season is not always about believing in necessarily Christmas or Santa Claus, but how, yes, it is about that, but having the capacity to actually believe is so much more important. And with how much turmoil is going on, you know, around the world, you know, politically, socially, you know, it's important to still have that capacity to believe in something that's beyond your control. And that's what we're kind of looking to describe with this show. And you have performers that will be playing? Yes, there will be four vocalists, uh, including myself, and then uh, three other people from around the Cleveland and uh, Northern Ohio area. Um, as well as a pianist and a percussionist. And have you ever done this type of show before in Sandusky? Yes, we brought uh, Trip Through Time, which was a jazz show uh, here back in April. And we had, I believe, last year in Norwalk at the Ernst Thousand Performing Arts Center. And what will be different about this year's show versus in the past? Of course, so at Ernst Thousand, we kind of had this grandiose uh, idea or ambition with that production and this year we wanted to bring it a little bit more closer to home and make it a little bit more intimate of a show so we chose a smaller venue uh, chose music that really kind of spoke to what we were trying to convey and I think we did a pretty good job at that. Okay and you're a local guy you went to Perkins High School. I did yeah I actually grew up in Sandusky and I know the area very well and uh, so, you know seeing the downtown area being revitalized and having so many businesses come back downtown um, you know, it just really inspired us to keep bringing shows down here. So. And how does art and culture help that, in your opinion, with shows like the one you're overseeing mm -hmm. here this week? Well, arts and culture, it helps the local economy because, you know, without, you know, these productions to go downtown, people are coming downtown to see these shows. So before they come see, you know, a show, they might go out to dinner, they might go out to a bar, um, or just come down and peruse the area, um, or even go out after the show. So it just kind of brings people down to the community. And then your background, you, you're in Cleveland Playhouse Squared. Can you tell the audience a little bit about what you're doing and your major and your ambitions, whether it's here or somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. So I'm a full-time student at uh, Baldwin Wallace University in Cleveland, and I work part-time in season ticket services at Playhouse Square. Um, believe it or not, after we have the show at the Mohawk Studio, we're actually picking, I believe, up and bringing it to Playhouse Square in Cleveland this Saturday and Sunday. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And where can people purchase tickets? So they can purchase tickets online or over the phone, online at anecdoteproductions.co slash events, or by calling 419-515-7512. Awesome, and then, you know, I just wanna briefly, we did have a little mention of it in the paper today, register edition, make sure you pick that up. So any parting words as far as encouraging people to come out to the show, what would you, if they've never been to it, sure. or if they've been to it before, what would you say to them to buy a ticket and check it out, you know, Thursday or Friday night? Oh, absolutely. So uh, this is actually the Mohawk Studios debut, like, presentation as far as using their new Mo uh, their new performance space. I, if anyone doesn't know uh, Sean Patrick Thomas Daly, he purchased a church downtown and converted it into a performance studio, and we are the debut presentation. So. It's not only supporting them, but um, supporting us. And uh, you get to see a really, really great Christmas holiday. You know, gets you into the, you know, it's snowing outside. You know, it really gets you into the holiday spirit. And we really hope to see you there. Awesome. And Nathan, any parting words you'd like to let our audience know about? Well, I just want to say happy holidays, and we hope to see you there. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us at the Market Street Studio. It sounds like a great show. Something, arts and culture, is very important to the community. And mm -hmm. events Absolutely. like this can only help it. I also want to thank Aaron McLaughlin for producing today's show. Thank you very much, Aaron. I'm Andy Oriel. Thanks for watching the Market Street Studio.